guys, Matt Antonelli here. I was doing some reading a few days ago and I came across uh, an article that was talking about Leo Mazzoni, the pitching coach back in the day, you probably remember him from the Atlanta Braves um, in the 90s and the early 2000s when he had Tom Glavin and Greg Maddox and John Smoltz and all those great pitchers. And then he moved on to the Baltimore Orioles and was a pitching coach there for a little while. Um, and the article was talking about a lot of his pitching points and some of his main beliefs and uh, what he teaches guys. So I picked out a couple of things that I found interesting in there and I wanted to share them with you guys because I think it's, it's pretty important the things that he emphasizes to his pitchers. So the first thing that I think is important is how he emphasizes being able to command your fastball, to throw your fastball for strikes, to throw your fastball, good quality fastballs where you want to throw them, fastball command. It's so important, and it's something that I've realized when I got to professional baseball and I heard uh, professional pitching coaches and big league pitching coaches, and I have a lot of friends that are major league pitchers and minor league pitchers, and probably more than anything, the thing that is stressed to them is fastball command. To be able to command your fastball, throw it where you want, be able to work both sides of the plate, outside, but especially inside when we get a little bit older with wood bats. It's all about getting ahead and being able to throw a good quality first pitch strike. You get ahead, you're able to use your off-speed pitches. You're able to do a whole lot more once you're in command, once you're pitching aggressively in the strike zone. So I thought that was interesting. First thing right off the bat that I read was his belief in being able to throw a fastball for a quality strike. And the reason I think this is really important, especially for uh, guys that are younger players in high school and even college, is that I think I see a lot of times when young kids are throwing, they're worried more about their off-speed pitches, their curveball, how much of their curveball breaks or their changeup and now their splitter and their slider and their forkball and their... You know, some guys throwing knuckleballs. Everyone is obsessed with all their other pitches, and they start to neglect their fastball. If you have fastball command, it's going to make all your other pitches better. And if you don't have fastball command and you can't throw a good fastball for a strike and get ahead of the hitter, it doesn't really matter what else you have because you're not going to be able to live on throwing curveballs and change-ups and all that stuff. You need to have a good quality fastball that you can throw for a strike, get ahead of hitters, and then you can work on throwing your other stuff. But it all starts with your fastball and your fastball command. And this next point goes kind of along with what I just said. I read that he talks about it's not always about more pitches. It's not about having six or seven pitches. It's about having three and maybe four pitches that you feel comfortable with and you can control and using those. It's much better to have three, maybe even two, but probably three if you're a starter, good quality pitches than trying to have a, a curveball and a slurve and a slider and a changeup and a splitter. And you know, you have all these pitches and that's great, but it's about having quality pitches, having pitches that you're confident in that you feel like you can throw the ball where you want to throw it. And the more pitches we get, well it just makes it tougher to be able to keep all of these pitches sharp, be able to control all these pitches the way you want to. So remember, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And the last uh, point I want to touch on real quick is the ability to control the outside part of the plate. Now you've probably heard of some guys that really want you to control the inside part, be able to throw a good fastball to the inside part of the plate, and that's important, especially if you're um, a professional pitcher to be able to get inside with the wood bats and be able to, when a guy starts to look away a bit or start diving away, that you have the ability to come inside. But what I found important here was how much he wants you to be able to control the outside corner of the plate and be able to use that to get ahead in the hitter. If you can make a good quality pitch and not throw one right down the middle, but use the outside part of the plate and get ahead and get a strike call, now it just opens the door for us to be able to throw all types of different things, to be able to come inside, to be able to use our off-speed pitches. I know that as a hitter, when a guy is able to not only consistently get ahead, but to be able to 
throw a quality pitch to get ahead to where I'm not able to put a good swing on it. If it's oh, I'm looking for my favorite pitch, and I'd say most guys are looking for a ball middle to middle in. If you're able to throw a, a good quality pitch on the outside part of the plate, most guys aren't going to swing at that oh, and now they're behind. And right off the bat, you're in the driver's seat as a pitcher, and now you're able to do whatever you want with the guy. So if you remember back to the Tom Glavin days, the uh, Greg Maddox days, how much they use the outside part of the plate to get ahead in the count. And once you show that you can get a strike there, well, then you can expand off it. You can make the plate feel even bigger. And I, I can definitely remember Tom Glavin, how many strike three calls he'd get that he'd throw outside part of the plate. And they'd give him a couple inches off the plate because he had such great control and because he showed them that, you know, I can put the ball where I want to. And if you keep throwing strikes, now you're able to expand. You're going to get the call. You're going to get guys to chase more pitches off the plate. So those were three things that I thought uh, were interesting. And I thought it could help some people out. I, I know that I, I liked reading and I got a lot out of it. So hope that helps you out. And uh, we'll talk to you later.